Hey babes, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create this Cara Delevingne makeup transformation. And Cara is an English model and she's a model for Burberry and she's been on Vogue and she's kind of amazing. So I decided to create this makeup look in homage to her because I am loving her and I love how she set trends with the full eyebrow look and yeah, other than that, enjoy the rest of the video. Now, first off, I'm going to apply some contact lenses, and Cara has light blue grey toned eyes, so I'm just going to apply my Geo Nudie Grey from geocoloredlenses.com. Okay, so onto the eye look. So the first thing that I'm going to do is fill in my eyebrows like Cara Delevingne, and I'm using that MUA Pro HD Brow Kit. I'm using the dark brown shade and just trying to replicate Cara Delevingne's full eyebrow look. I've got quite full eyebrows anyway, so I'm just kind of following my shape and extending it a little bit. I'm going to draw little hairs in the front of the brow. And at the tail of the brow, I'm going to do the same with a pen liner. Just ever so slightly, just to replicate the look of hair. To clean up my brow work, I'm just going to be using Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Conceal in Y1. I'm using a flat definer brush and cleaning that up. I love Cara Delevingne's eyebrow look because it's kind of similar to mine and I'm loving the fact that the full brow look is coming back into trend because it's so youthful. I'm just going to be setting my eyebrows with Max Brow Set in Begal. Cara likes to use the Anastasia one but I don't have that one. As an eye base I'm using Max Loft Ochre Paint Pot all over the lids. Taking the same dark brown shadow that we used for the eyebrows, I'm just going to be slightly contouring the top bit of the nose from the eyebrow down a little bit, because that's what Cara has. I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers. I'm going to be applying NYX Brown Eyeshadow right across the crease. creating that warm brown ochre eye look and take that under the eye as well. This is very high fashion. It's kind of grungy and since Cara is a Burberry model I think it's pretty compulsory to use at least one Burberry product so I'm going to be using Burberry eyeshadow in almond number no. six. I'm just deepening up the crease with that and also the lower lash line. I then mix the brow powder with almond and I'm just applying that into the crease and deepening it up even more. You can use brow powders as eyeshadows, who said you can't? I'm also going to apply that onto the lower lash line. You want to go quite low with this. With my old Urban Decay Ammo palette, I'm just going to be using Smog and apply that all over the lid. This is a bronzy shade. And then with my finger, I'm applying Sin Eyeshadow into the inner corner of the eyes. And to tight line my eyes, I'm applying Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Corrupt, which is a brown. Once you've lined the waterline, you want to extend that onto the top and bottom lash line. Now I'm going to curl my lashes with Max Half Lash Curler. For mascara, I'm using Givenchy Phenomenize. From the visuals of Cara that I'm using, she isn't wearing false eyelashes. But just to feminize my eyes, I'm just going to be applying some really natural brown pair of lashes. And these are from iMemo, and they are in the number NTR07. And that's the eyes done. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing NARS Sheer Glow with Vichy Demo Blend in 25 Nude. And I'm just going to blend the foundation in using my Real Techniques Stippling Brush. I'm 
For concealer, I'm going to be using Sansan Age Defense Concealer in number 3, and I'm just going to be applying that onto the bags, and I don't want to be disturbing any of the eyeshadow work that I've done on the lower lash line, because we want to still have that showing through. Now, I was going to set this foundation and concealer, but the finish is quite matte, and I don't want to feel super cakey, so I'm just going to leave it at this for the base. For contouring, I'm going to be using Soleil Tan de Chanel. And I'm going to be lowering my cheekbones a little bit because Cara's got lower cheekbones than me. But still really prominent. Contour under the lip. I'm also highlighting below and above that to hide my own features because I don't want them showing through. I'm kind of erasing my features to make way for Cara's features. To show through. Go to contour the nose. For blush, I'm applying Life's a Peach by Sleek. Going back in with foundation, I'm just going to be kneading out my lips. I then line my lips with Rimmel Exaggerate in Addiction. And then I'm going to be filling in the lips with Max Lipstick in Pure Zen. And highlighting the cupid's bow with Sin Eyeshadow. And this is the final Cara Delevingne look. I just popped on this wig from WonderlandWigs.com to replicate Cara Delevingne's ash blonde hair. I love Cara Delevingne and her work, and she's bloody gorgeous, and I love this makeup look. And this video was really fun to make, and this has been Mark, the Prince of Vanity. Please comment down below, tell me what you think of the look, and what you think of Cara Delevingne, if you love her as much as I do. Click like, because I love it when you click the like button, and share it on Twitter, talk to me on Instagram, follow me, and subscribe, goddammit. Bye!